Hey everybody, Jimmy here. Today we're going to talk about my Coyote rifle, topped off with the Razer Gen 3 1 to 10. First up, let's talk a little bit about this rifle, what makes it special, and why I chose it to be my dedicated Predator rifle. First up, this is an 18 inch AR upper chambered in classic 223 or 556. It is a short stroke piston upper actually, and it even has a side charging handle. I like that feature because if I'm ever in the prone behind the gun, or we'll talk about this in a minute, shooting off a tripod, I can stay on the gun while charging the rifle without having to get out of the way of a traditional charging handle on a traditional AR upper. Of course, as you can see up on the front here, we have a suppressor. This is a Silencer Co. Spec War 556. A suppressor I've had for a while. The rifle already came with the adapter for it, so it was pretty slick. I just put it right on there, and I pretty much haven't ever taken it off. Now with that suppressor, with this being an 18 inch upper with a short stroke piston system, with a pretty hefty mag pull stock at the rear, all that starts to add up in terms of weight. It's not really a fun AR to have to shoot offhand, so I like to be able to shoot with it either in the prone, that's using this Atlas bipod out front, or off a tripod like our Radian Carbon tripod, something really nice and heavy duty. And that, I can use this Arca Swiss adapter plate, which I attach right to the M-lock attachments on the bottom of the forend. So I can just lock it into either our ball head or our leveling head with that tripod, and it's a really sturdy platform. So I'll throw out a quick note about the forend on this upper, or the hand guard. I may switch this out in the future. I'm not married to this one. It's very low profile, but one of the issues that I ran into immediately off the bat is as I was attaching some of the M-lock uh, attachments here on the rail, uh, a few of them came with screws that were long enough that they actually started to touch the barrel. Now, if you're familiar with the harmonics of a barrel as you shoot, anything touching the barrel can start to affect your accuracy. This is a super accurate gun, but as soon as I started to attach a few things to it and those screws started to touch the barrel, the groups really began to open up. Luckily, I was able to find shorter screws and everything worked out okay, but that's something to keep in mind. If you are attaching items to a rail, just make sure that none of the screws or fasteners or anything are gonna be interfering with the way that barrel wants to uh, go through its harmonics as you shoot, could affect your accuracy. As we mentioned before, the optic I ended up choosing to go on top of this rifle is the Razer Gen 3 1 to 10 low power variable optic. Very, very nice scope here. There were a number of options I could have gone with. I even considered the PST Gen 2 2 to 10, but ultimately this one got the go. I figured I'm only going to have one Coyote rifle, so I might as well go all out with it. Really excellent that I have the one power all the way up to 10 power. If you're calling in coyotes, you really never know where they may pop up. It could be a couple hundred yards out or it could just be within 50 yards or so. So having the ability to dial in the magnification or quick zoom out and get a quick, uh, quick acquisition on that animal is key with this rifle. This particular model Razor 1 to 10 is the MOA. So it has the BDC reticle. That's another thing that's nice again in those quick situations where you're gonna have to make maybe a holdover. I can use the BDC and the really convenient thing is because this is a first focal plane optic, I know that that BDC is gonna be to the correct scale of the image regardless of what magnification I'm on. So that's just one less thing I have to think about. One upgrade I probably should make to this scope here in due time is a throw lever. Talking about being able to change that magnification quickly, that's gonna help me do it even more quickly if I had that lever right here on the mag ring. For the mount, I went with one from American Defense Manufacturing. This is one of their cantilever mounts with the 34 millimeter rings, of course, to match the Razor Gen 3's 34 millimeter scope too. You might be able to tell, but this mount is a little bit higher than traditional cantilever mounts. I did that just in case I was going to run in the future some sort of a night vision device out on the fore end. A little bit higher scope height can work better with something like that. Or when I'm just running the scope by itself, it still works just fine in the prone, seated, however I'm shooting it. So there you have it, everybody. That's my Coyote rifle. We hope this series helps you guys out when it comes to putting optics on your various types of rifles. So if you have any requests for a specific type of gun or application that you'd like to see us give our optic recommendation for, let us know in the comments below or hit us up on social media, whatever works best for you guys. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next episode of Scope This Gun.